Any hope that the Spice Girls will perform at Glastonbury has been coldly shut down by event organizer Emily Evis. For months there have been rumors that the iconic band would grace the stage at Worthy Farm, with all five original members set to dance and sing in front of fans. Mel's B and C have both fanned the flames of rumors in interviews and on-air discussions by teasing the possibility that the whole group could reunite for a major performance. Even Victoria Beckham was reportedly being tempted to step away from her design table to sing for her supper once more. But now Glasgow organizer Emily Evis has shot down any hope that the chart-topping girl band will be performing at the 2023 event. Asked if there was any truth to the rumors of a Spice Girls reunion taking place at Worthy Farm, she bluntly told The Sun, that is not a conversation we're having. Emily's immediate dismissal will come as a disappointment to many fans who have been teased since last year about a Spice Girls reunion. Last December, Mel B was asked on Channel 4 as The Big Nasty Show if the Spice Girls were to reunite at Glastonbury and she enthusiastically replied, Yes, I think so. But I've got to convince the 4BS to do it with me. While months earlier, Mel C had teased the idea of a Glastonbury performance complete with Vicky B, saying in an interview, 100% I'd like to do it. I believe that is too big a gig for VB to be busy that night. Adding the Spice Girls would inject some much needed girl power to the Glastonbury 2023 lineup. A furious backlash erupted on Friday when the lineup was unveiled, with no female headliners on the main stage. And many felt there was an overall lack of female performers on the other stages at the iconic festival as the likes of Arctic Monkeys, Sire Elton John, and Guns N' Roses clogged up the stages. Emily has already been out to defend the festival after fans noticed 53% of performers confirmed so far are male and just 43% of acts are non-white. She pleaded to The Guardian, we're trying our best so the pipeline needs to be developed. This starts way back with the record companies, radio. I can shout as loud as I like but we need to get everyone on board. She continued to say Glastonbury is entirely focused on balancing, our, bill in terms of gender but every aspect of diversity. But music fans have called the lineup awful in terms of diversity. Independence Culture and Lifestyle News Editor Roshin O'Connor said, Situations like this year's Glastonbury lineup are a direct symptom of industry failures to support female artists from the ground up. Getting them on the smaller stages, on radio, at live venues. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.